welcome to Earth Angel TV, the show created by Earth Angels for Earth Angels. I'm Michelle Gordon and I'm the author of the Earth Angel series. And today is another Christmas episode, of course, it's December. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how to reduce the stress that you might feel around the holidays. And so the main stresses are usually time, money and your energy. So it's far too easy to um, spend more than you would like to on Christmas because you see something that somebody might like or you know you want to sort of splash out with something different, something alternative, you want to get somebody an experience rather than a gift but the way, that, well the only way that you can actually cut down on what you're going to spend and also stay within your limits is to work out in the first place how much you can actually afford to spend and it'd probably be a lot less than you even might imagine it might be. So by creating these budgets, and I know that might be a dirty word to some of you, <laughs> and it was to me at some point, by creating these budgets, you know then what kind of limits you have and what you can stick to. And also it helps you to get a little bit creative because you can be like, mm, I've only got this much money for this person's gift, so I'm going to, you know, find something that fits that, but they also really want, because obviously I'm not advocating just buying, you know, cheap stuff that fits the bill. Um, so try and work out a little budget, maybe for each person or for each family or whoever it is you buy for your kids. You know, work out how much, you know, can you actually afford to spend on them, because I can guarantee, especially if you have children, you know, as much as they probably love the presents, what they would love more is for you not to be stressed out. You know, they, they would love you to be, you know, to spend more time with them and to have fun with them and to do things that necessarily don't really cost a lot. But it's your time that they're kind of more interested in. So work out how much you can afford to spend. And then if you can, spend less than that, you know, because you could save up for next year even. And when it comes to time, work out how much time you actually have because over Christmas there's going to be parties, there's going to be events, there's going to be, you know, school things going on if you have children, there's going to be work parties, there's going to be all these different, like, tugs, these pulls on your time and on your energy. And it's okay to say no. It's okay for somebody to invite you to a Christmas party and for you to go, actually, I need to, I need to chill out or I need to spend time with my family or I need to do something else. It's alright to turn down the invitations and I know it's difficult because it's Christmas and you want to see people and you want to have fun but it's okay to actually put your energies your energy level first and say no actually I haven't got the energy for that I haven't got the time for that and don't feel that you have to say yes to everything that comes along and the other thing as well is to make sure you're looking after yourself this is why I'm saying it's okay to say no and to put yourself first because especially and this is not being sexist, but especially women, we have this all this responsibility to get the presents, to do the food, to you know sort out the children, to do all these events, to keep everything going, and we try to make everything perfect because we want Christmas to be magical and we want everybody to enjoy themselves. But actually, we then forget that we need to be taken care of as well, and we need to look after ourselves. So make sure you actually plan into your schedule some self care. So whether it's actually just taking time out with a friend to have a coffee and to just chill and chat, whether it's having a really long bath or wherever, you know, even get the family involved in the Christmas preparations as well. Get the kids involved, get your partner involved, you know, get them to help you out. Don't try and do it all by yourself. Don't try and make it all perfect because at the end of the day, you're the one who's going to be ill or run down or tired or exhausted and burnt out at the end of it. And you won't be able to enjoy either because you should be able to enjoy Christmas. Why not? So see what you can do to work out some budgets for your time, for your money, but also for food as well. Because over Christmas there's a tendency to overindulge because there's all this amazing food in the supermarket that we don't get all year round. You know, you've got the mince pies and you've got some Christmas puddings and you've got all these amazing foods. And we tend to buy a lot more food over the Christmas period than we will actually consume. And yes, we might consume more, but it's never as much as we actually buy. So if you work out a plan for, you know, you could do a meal plan or you could do a budget for, this is how much we're gonna spend on food this Christmas and whatever that food is, that, that's, you know, how much it's gonna cost. Um, and also just try not to kind of overdo it because otherwise you're gonna end up with a bit of a detox at the end. And if you're going to drink, then just try not to drink quite as much as you might because I have spent many a Christmas with people who have drunk far too much on Christmas Eve and then they can't enjoy Christmas Day and to me that seems like a complete waste because you know Christmas Day is it's one day you know you get that chance to enjoy it 
Um, so see what you can do to just sort of cut down on excessiveness. I think Christmas kind of lends to this excessive behavior that comes out of us once a year where we're like must buy lots of stuff and must buy tons of food and must eat lots of food and drink lots of stuff and do overdo things and then we start off the new year feeling dehydrated and exhausted and just run down and ill and that's not a good way to start a new year because 2019 is going to be epic and I know that you're going to want to start it off right so hopefully that helping you to just look at things in a slightly different way and to put yourself first. Say no to any extra demands on your time or your energy that aren't necessary so that you can actually enjoy Christmas. I think, you know, that's kind of my whole mission really is that you need to be able to have fun and to be able to have fun you need to not be worrying about how much debt you're getting into, you need to not be worrying about, you know, eating too much food and feeling ill and you need to not be worrying about spending tons on people when they probably don't even need half of the stuff and or even maybe want it even i mean i have some friends who they have relatives who insist on buying the presents even though they told them not to and those gifts they don't keep them <laughs> you know they don't want them in their space so they don't keep them they pass them on they, they recycle them or they give them to charity so you know there's no need to put yourself under any excessive stress than you need to. Hope that was helpful. If you're enjoying the videos, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and share them with your friends. And let me know in the comments well, how you're finding the episodes and if there's anything that you'd like me to talk about next year. So thank you for watching this episode and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye!